You see the problem everywhere. We are drowning in hazardous waste. Medical pathogens, toxic incinerator ash, bulk and hazardous chemicals, mixed toxins, weapon systems, pyrotechnics, even tires and batteries. They all become a problem once we're done with them because we have no place to safely put them. It's a major threat to the populace and to the environment, and we're making it a problem for generations to come. In the U.S. alone, we deal with over 300 million tons of hazardous waste a year. It's a $42 billion problem in every community, in every part of the country and the world. We now have a process that uh, uh, will take all of that waste, will eliminate your liability, will eliminate the environmental risk, and will actually produce a product that's usable. But it doesn't have to be this way. Not anymore. Because now there is a genuine breakthrough in 21st century technology, a milestone innovation called the Plasma Energy Pyrolysis System, or PEPS. It may well be the last word in hazardous waste disposal. Because by completely destroying waste, by reducing waste to its fundamental natural components, or converting them into useful, safe products, PEPS sets a new standard in safety and cost-effectiveness. Nothing else can match this state-of-the-art technology. With PEPS, you don't burn waste. That creates other problems. And you don't bury it. That hides the problem for a while. Instead, you convert hazardous waste into reusable construction materials and reclaimable energy. Best of all, with PEPS, you end the soil, air, and water liability chain. The hazardous waste that now plagues us for years to come, perhaps centuries to come, is no longer there. It has been disassembled into its elemental parts. It has been diffused and declawed. It has been rendered harmless. We now have a process that uh, uh, will take all of that waste, will eliminate your liability, will eliminate the environmental risk, and will actually produce a product that's usable. The PEP system is a commercially viable process building on technology which came out of NASA research. The key to it is a 500 kilowatt plasma arc torch, which essentially creates and sustains a bolt of lightning. The torch operates inside a sealed airtight container and produces temperatures at up to 21,000 degrees Fahrenheit. There is no oxidation here. There is no burning. Organic materials are quickly broken down into their component elements in the form of hydrogen-rich gases. Inorganics, like metals, are fused into a glassy, rock-like slag. They are not simply encapsulated in the slag. They are bonded there, vitrified in a form that is forever inert and forever safe. Gases are continuously drawn off and quick quenched to prevent formation of dioxins or furans. The gases are then cleaned to remove any remaining particulate matter. They can be used at this point like any other syngas to generate electricity, with every ton of waste netting up to 900 kilowatts of reclaimed energy. Alternatively, gases can be further processed into water vapor and harmless dischargeable carbon dioxide. In any event, there is no visible plume or flame with PEPs and air emissions have been proven by independent laboratory analysis to be far below allowed EPA limits. Water used to cool the system is likewise conditioned and treated at several stages. Most of the cooling water is recycled, with the balance safe enough for the local sanitary sewers. All of this activity is safely monitored via remote cameras and sensors. Instrumentation monitors and logs all activity within the facility. The fully automated control system ensures efficient and safe operation. The demonstration system built for the Army in Lorton, Virginia, can handle up to 10 tons of hazardous waste a day. But plants can also be built to consume as much as 50 tons a day. This is one of the most exciting features of the PEPS technology. A facility can be customized to virtually any hazardous waste disposal situation. Regardless, waste does not have to be sorted or separated. And because it is so compact a technology, PEPS facilities can even be made transportable to be moved wherever they may be needed in an emergency. It's exciting. Uh, it is the kind of uh, 
process that uh, should be definitive of the 21st century, a win-win. Uh, we can not only deal with uh, environmental pollution, the hazardous uh, medical, toxic, chemical waste, uh, but we can produce productive byproducts of it. You can see then why the PEPS technology is clearly the wave of the future. It's the perfect solution for hospitals, industrial plants, municipalities, and waste hauling companies, as well as DOD and DOE sites. In fact, the PEPS technology has already been fully permitted in Alabama, Virginia, California, and Washington State. It's absolutely unique. There is no incineration, nor are there any releases that are harmful to either people or the environment. With PEPS, your liability ends here. That's because PEPS does not reduce or encapsulate or reform the hazardous waste with PEPS. Concurrent Technologies Corporation, through the National Defense Center for Environmental Excellence, provided third-party oversight of the Enersol demonstration validation. The NDCEE executive agent is the office of the Assistant Secretary of the Army. Enersol Technologies Incorporated as the prime contractor for the Mobile Plasma Energy Pyrolysis System is executing this project including design, installation and operational testing with management and oversight by the NDCEE. The Mobile Plasma Energy Pyrolysis System has been undergoing modification testing using an advanced technology that was originally developed by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration the Department of Defense began investigating the use of plasma torches to treat problem waste in the 1980s recently Enersol developed a working mobile unit that outperforms current EPA standard for environmentally sound waste disposal the Enersol system is designed to operate in remote conditions it is mounted on six tractor trailers with its own power generation capability for operation at any DOD installation. Mobility can potentially offer multiple benefits. For example, the unit can be driven to Defense Department depots or industrial sites for waste destruction as needed. As a demonstration module, its mobility has been tested on interstate highways and secondary road. The assembly and disassembly of the system is expected to take five to seven days per cycle. The mobile unit is controlled and monitored by a fully automated fail-safe process control system. An industrial level programmable logic controller with multiple operator workstations and redundancy in critical components provide system control. The operator controls the waste disposal process from a control room using touchscreen monitors. The unit is safe to operate and safe for the environment.